that can't be explained. The last one is crazy. Can someone explain to me why so many birds were pushed out of the sky? Would you rather spend one night in this bathroom or kiss the third person who appears when you click share and then more? This woman captured a light orb of some sort on her doorbell camera and it kept replaying the Sesame Street theme song. Could it have been trying to communicate with us? Only 1% of people can do this. None of you can completely spell your name one letter at a time in the comments below without being interrupted. First person to do it wins. Before we get to the last scary thing, make sure to support this page by clicking the follow button for more interesting facts every day. Did this guy randomly find a piece of the Ocean Gate submarine that imploded a couple months ago? Oh, what is that? Where did you find that? What's it say? Oh no. We need to turn that in, Cody. What's it say? Oh, it's part of a helicopter. No. Whatever. This can happen to you in your sleep. Lucid dreaming is when you are where you are dreaming while sleeping, which means you can control anything. You can create a whole world in a lucid dream. Most people in the world has experienced a lucid dream. Sorry, Dad. Wasn't allowed outside. Had no toys. No friends. He was belittled and bullied. Gabriel's last vision was that man over there, standing over Gabriel, beating him to death. Hatami detailed out the disturbing acts allegedly committed by the Palmdale couple, how they beat Gabriel, bit him, burned him with cigarettes, whipped him, shot him with a BB gun, starved him, fed him cat litter, and kept him gagged and bound in this cubby. As for a motive, that Aguirre just didn't like Gabriel and thought he was gay. The evidence will show that the defense nothing more than a bully. He was a security guard who intentionally tortured and abused a helpless and innocent little boy. LAFD paramedic James Cermak, the first witness on the stand, said he couldn't believe what he saw when he responded to the 911 call of Gabriel in cardiac arrest at a Palmdale apartment back on May 22, 2013. The more you looked, the more you saw. It's just, it, it was just unbelievable, the amount of trauma on, on his body. Defense attorney John Allen says his client admits to causing the injuries, but that it only happened because the sorrow exploded in rage after Gabriel told his mom to leave her boyfriend. That his sorrow has a very hard time handling stressful, chaotic situations. He is guilty of murder, but the special circumstance alleged that he intended to kill Gabriel through the inflation of torture. Is not true. This is day two. Now, the prosecution really painting a picture with the eight year old's injuries, his two front teeth forcibly removed, ribs that were fractured, burns all over his body, strangulation marks, as well as skull fractures. The jury, many of them not even able to look at these pictures anymore, but the prosecution relentless in trying to prove that Gabriel's murder was intentional. Strangulation marks around his neck. His ankles were swollen. Uh, I believe his uh, left palm uh, looked like it was burned. Bite marks, bruises, head to toe, uh, skull fractures. Every inch of Gabriel was bruised and swollen. Um, his skin was kind of a black and blue mottled color. I remember he felt cold to the touch. Is there a burns? On his body, been bruising throughout his entire body, and it looked like uh, his penis uh, had somebody attempted to cut it off. You testify that pretty much every inch of Gabriel's body was covered in injuries. Is that correct? Correct. An overflow crowd in court today to hear firsthand from an emergency room nurse who treated young Gabriel when he was taken to the hospital after being beaten unconscious. These are multiple injuries. Um, of different types. There were operations, there were open wounds.
things humans were never meant to see. This is one of the scariest videos online. Experiment shows how intense radiation heat leaves behind a shadow. Days later he died but doctors said it wasn't from this experiment. Disturbing things caught on camera. Lauren Combs lives in a rural house where she claims to have experienced paranormal activity before. However, she usually dismissed it until the following happens. She's sitting on the couch, like on any other day, while watching TV. Then, out of a sudden, her hair is pulled. Lauren first thought it was her cat, but after checking the camera she saw this. This is ridiculous! Don't make me think about numbers again. A grave and This is ridiculous! Don't make me think about numbers again. Hit plus to see more videos. If you see this in your house, don't kill it. I know that when you guys first watch this clip, you probably disagree with me immediately. This clip is already bad enough with this massive spider, but then this person ends up spilling this liquid on the spider's back, and we see exactly what it's been carrying. Hundreds of babies end up screwing off the spider's back. And if you had arachnophobia, this was probably terrifying. This spider is known as a wolf spider. Wolf spiders are relatively large, but one of the things that makes them so unique is the fact that they carry their young on their back until they've matured. Now, in terms of just being an animal, wolf spiders are allies human. They make a habit out of consuming pests that you don't want in your house, like flies. But the real reason you don't want to crush a wolf spider in your house is the fact that it might be carrying babies. Any sign of trauma or trouble to the mother wolf spider will send all of these babies spreading across your house, and it's going to be impossible to get rid of them. The most effective way to get rid of a wolf spider is through the use of a cup and a piece of paper. Trust me, you don't want all these babies running around your house. ...which was captured in Flint, Michigan on April 24th, 2023. The house had two ring cameras, one above the garage and the other was a ring doorbell camera. Around 10 p.m., a man in a red jacket and another person just behind him are shown walking up to the house's front door. Before knocking or ringing the doorbell, the man in the jacket immediately starts trying to break down the door. ring camera falls to the ground from the impacts, but the door itself doesn't budge. After those few seconds, the man walks around to the house's side door and again immediately starts trying to break it down. By this point, the homeowner had woken up in a panic and was checking their camera's feed for an explanation. They noticed their doorbell camera on the ground and so they switched over to their other camera. As the banging noise rang out throughout the house, they could now see what was causing it. homeowner's voice coming over the speaker was enough to scare the two men off. Police were called out to the property. When they reviewed the footage, they noted that one of the men was armed. What these two men planned to do with the people inside if they had successfully broken in is unknown. It's unclear if they were ever identified by police. This clip was captured at 3 in the morning on April 9th, 2023. It happened in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The homeowner was sleeping when the clip was recorded. It wasn't until he woke up and saw a notification on his phone that he found out about it. He reviewed the footage, horrified. This is what he saw. A woman is shown trying multiple different keys to get into the house and even looking around for a hidden one.
homeowner claimed that he had never seen this woman before. He said that she later started throwing rocks at his car and trying those locks. It's likely she was under the influence of something. Multiple times she tries to insert keys into the doorbell camera itself. After a few minutes she walks off and was never seen on the property again. Her intentions are unknown. told my son to watch this video. It disappeared. <laughs> a terrifying real footage of a group of men following a girl home. Worst ways people have died. This is Kevin Ward Jr. Final picture taken. The this animation began shows when how it Stewart happened. Pushed Ward into the wall on lap 14 of 25. Ward's back right tire was flattened as his car spun around one and a half times. Race officials put up the yellow caution flag, warning drivers to slow down to about 40 miles per hour. Rather than wait for Ray Stewart, Ward stepped out of his vehicle onto the dirt track to confront Stewart. While taunting Stewart, Ward was clipped by Stewart's back right tire and tossed to the edge of the track. Let's take another look at the moment the 20-year-old racer was caught near Stewart's tire. Ward rolled to a stop about 25 feet from the first impact. This woman's dog saved her from a skinwalker. What was this dog seeing that we couldn't see? I don't know, but dogs have a sixth sense or something. Like and follow for more spooky crap. You're not real. Oh. You're not real. Officer. You're only made of moonlight. You're so much smaller than 